Um, this afternoon, I'm going to share uh, my paper on code switching in mixed marriages, decades of Filipino Malaysian couples. So, this one will give you an idea on how uh, Filipino Malaysian couples interact with each other and uh, the language that they use and how the occurrence of uh, code switching um, happen in the interaction. The purpose of this research is to examine the constitution patterns in mixed couples communication in the home building. So actually, when we talk about couples, couples normally talk um, at home or even outside. Um, however, I'd like to highlight in this paper that there is a limitation that the, the study is focused only in the home building. So just to give you an overview about uh, the about the uh, participants that I have. So I have uh, Filipino uh, participants and Malaysian participants. But to give an overview about the Philippines, the so Philippines is, um, has a population of uh, 18 million uh, in 2007. And um, the, econo the economy of the Philippines uh, in the past few years uh, could be considered as uh, not very much uh, stable. So as a result, uh, people um, would prefer to uh, look for jobs uh, outside the Philippines to have a better income. And at the same time, due to the problem of uh, unemployment, which is a higher percentage, so people also migrated. So looking at the, um, the Filipinos, so Filipinos they speak different languages. There are so many languages in the Philippines and there are a lot of major languages as well. And so when Filipinos migrate to other countries, so they, they use English, since English is also widely spoken in the Philippines. And in fact, English is considered to be the official language, uh, one of the official languages in the Philippines, um, apart from Filipino, which is the national language. So, um, Philippines is very rich in uh, culture, and people are not very much on, um, not very much concerned of their ethnicity. But uh, people in the Philippines are more of regionalistic. If you're going to ask them on what ethnicity they belong, it would be very difficult, difficult for a Filipino to answer that. But if you're going to ask a Filipino to what region did you come from, then we can easily identify ourselves. So as far as language is concerned, in the Philippines, people mostly are multilingual. So that we speak different languages aside from our uh, regional language. We have the national language plus English, some, and others uh, speak other foreign languages. Um, looking at Malaysia, so uh, there are some similarities. In Malaysia, there are a lot of ethnic groups, and at the same time, there are a lot of uh, languages as spoken. And in Malaysia, there are three major ethnic groups like the Malay, the Chinese, and Indians, aside and other ethnic groups in Sabah and Sarawak. And um, in Malaysia, uh, Bahasa Malaysia is the national language. However, English is widely spoken. And it serves as a lingua franca among the other uh, ethnic groups in Malaysia. So, uh, looking at mixed marriages uh, between Filipinos and Malaysia, so if we're going to trace actually the history of mixed marriages among the Filipinos and Malaysia, we can trace, even in the past, mixed marriages happened. But it was very common in Sabah and the Philippines, somewhere in Sabah and uh, in the Philippines, because of the proximity of the, uh, the place. So there were already mixed marriages. However, in the past, those were not documented. So just at present, um, there the, most of the mixed marriages that happen in Malaysia uh, between Filipinos and Malaysians are not documented. Although, when I went to the Philippine Embassy, there were quite, or I would say a few number of uh, Filipinos who got married with the Malaysians which are not documented. And uh, there was a hard time for me to trace the actual number of Filipinos who got married with um, the Malaysians because there were a, there were quite a lot of people who registered, but after they registered, they did not come back whether to confirm whether they were married or not. So there were records, but only a few came back for 
for uh, confirmation. So talking about mixed marriages, in, I am focusing in the 20th, 21st century that one of the common reasons why mixed marriages happen between Filipinos and Malaysia, and this is caused by migration of Filipinos uh, to Malaysia for economic reasons. So uh, specifically for employment purpose. So, if you're going to look at the Filipinos who are working here in Malaysia, a lot of them are working and you could classify them. Others are working, doing these blue collar jobs and others are using are working with uh, these uh, white collar jobs. Uh, however, based on my study, although I could, I could not generalize because I did not really um, explore or all the different states in Malaysia, but I concentrated only in Kuala Lumpur and Kuching. And based from the, from the data that I gathered, it turned out that most female entertainers um, got married to Malaysians, although there were also some uh, Filipinos who are working as professionals or working in uh, higher education and working, as, uh, working in some other companies. Uh, who got married also with the Malaysians, but a majority that I, I've talked and I've interviewed were mostly uh, female entertainers. And looking at the, the, the Filipinos who got married with the Malaysians, majority are females. And in fact, out of, out of 60 individuals, equivalent to 30 couples that I interviewed, it turned out that there were only two Filipino males who got married with the local uh, Malaysians. Majority were uh, females. Um, my initial analysis for this, uh, why most uh, of the Philippines who got married with the Malaysians uh, were female entertainers, because these were the people who are very exposed you know, to different peoples because of the type of jobs that they have. Okay. So here I look at, um, if, you're, if you're going to look back with the title that I have in my paper, so um, it's mixed marriages. Okay, but I'm, I'm looking at code switching in, in uh, mixed marriage. Actually, this one is just a branch of my dissertation that I am doing because I, after I did my uh, data gathering, I found out that there were a lot of code switching, and then I said, it could be very much useful to look at also code switching in an interaction between Filipino and Malaysian couples. So, uh, looking at code switching in this paper, I um, I got this definition from Lila, which is I believe very much suited with the kind of paper that I'll be presenting today. Our uh, code switching is defined as the practice of selecting or altering linguistic elements so as to contextualize talk and interaction. So, my focus here is. Uh, not the usual analysis of code switching where uh, you identify, like you look at the marketness model or looking at the uh, looking at the syntactic structure, the intersentential or intersentential.